Hi everyone, my name is Victor and I am one of the authors of Technit.com. Today we are going to continue with our course and we are going to be looking at creating and managing basic containers in Linux. Container or rather containers are set of one or more running instances isolated from the system. So for example, if I have my system here, alright, so a container is a running instance that is isolated from the system okay and um, container uses namespaces for its um, isolation the container technology is quite similar to virtualization of course ex except container is isolated so if you look at this diagram you can see the virtualization concept where you would have the infrastructure which is the hardware and on the hardware you have the operating system all right and on the operating system you have the hypervisor and on the hypervisor you can spin up on um, vms so this is a vm for example this is a guest os you can see the vms that has its own binaries and libraries and from the vm you can have um, applications running on the guest os all right this is application one and this is application two and you can see that application one is, is using the binaries and libraries of the guest OS as well as application 2. So if you make changes to this um, guest OS binaries and libraries, of course it might affect the applications running on the guest OS. The same thing is applicable to this um, guest OS as well um, for application 3 and 4. If you make changes to these uh, binaries and libraries, it might affect the applications running on the guest OS. So, um, you know, we want to avoid all of this, hence why there is um, the birth of the containerization technology. So when you look at the containerization, for example, you can see the infrastructure here, which is the um, hardware. And on the hardware, you can see the operating system. So for containerization, you know, I said it is an isolated running instance. You can see the container here and the container, of course, has its own libraries from the image and you can see that the um, application can use the um, libraries of the image of the container. You can see that. So the same thing is applicable to application 2. So if you make any changes on this um, guest OS libraries, it will be isolated from the container. So it won't affect the applications running on the container. All right. So that's um, the difference between virtualization and containerization. And again, before you can create a container, you need um, a container image, all right? And um, a container image can be gotten from registries. So if you look at this diagram right now, you can see the containers here. So um, you need a registry, all right? And you can get the image from the registry. And from the image, of course, you can create your containers. There are a lot of um, image registries out there, all right, the paid and the unpaid ones. So you need to be very sure and trust the registries before using them. So a registry is a repository, just as um, how you get your packages from your uh, repositories. And Red Hat distributes container images from two locations, all right. So one which is uh, the registry.redhat.io and the other which is registry.access.redhat all right and if you want to access this registry which is um, registry.redhat.io you would need to register with um, Red Hat okay so this needs um, registration and authentication so if you want to get um, a 30 day trial subscriptions you can check you can click here on this website all right so you can um, be able to get the 30 day trial subscriptions and also if you want to sign up for the Red Hat developer program you can also click here so I'll be dropping the link to this um, lesson in the description section below so that you can um, click on it and it will bring you to this page you can also get the uh, more information about registries and their content here all right and okay so let's uh, look at the format a, a an image format all right so an image is always in this type of format. You can see here, this is um, registry.redout.io slash rel8 slash httpd-24 column 1-122. All 
you might begin to imagine that what is all this all right so let's um break it down you can see here this is the um, registry which is registry.redact.io so after the registry then um the next the next parameter or uh, is going to be the image username so this is this is the image username which is rel8 all right then followed by the name of the image so this is the name of the image which is httpd-24 and followed by the image tag all right so the image tag is always after the image and there's going to be a column here and you can specify the image tag in an advent where you don't want to specify the image tag um by default you're going to be getting um, the latest image tag from the registry all right and also if you're creating a container and if you don't specify the container name uh, by default also you're going to um, get a random name so you can see the scenario i i pointed i said so for example if i build a container image so i might um, want to build a container image all right and i can decide to call the image web app all right and um, the image username victor because i built the container all right and i can also decide to put the image in a registry called registry.techni.me sorry <laughs> registry.techni.me all right so um if i want to reference the image i can reference the image as um registry.techni.me so this is registry slash because i built the image i can say victor all right this is the username image username and this is the image which is web hub all right so this is um how you would always see um an image it comes with the registry name followed by the um, username image username followed by the name of the image and followed by the tag all right so in this case we have the tag here in this case um i didn't put the tag here so um, of course, like I said, it's going to take the latest tag. As we go on uh, in the action time section, you would understand this better. You see how we're going to be creating containers, how we're going to be specifying the image tags, you know, and, and how we, um, you know, attach storage um, port to containers. So, well, before we get to that section, I just want to be very sure that I've covered everything I need to explain here. All right, so let's um, move on. All right, so this is um okay all right so um, you need tools to create and manage containers and you know so i think i'll just break it down here and in the next um, video we're going to continue with that so we're going to look at the tools that we can use to create and, and manage containers we're going to look at how a basic linux containers work all right and we're going to look at um, how to install container tools module and many other information about containers all right so um thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel. Bye for now.